Ward Silver, N0AX, sent me a Ham Radio for Dummies book. I think I'm mildly offended. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. <laughs> this is all in good fun, by the way. Those of you who might be watching for the first time, I'm I'm often not very serious on this channel, and I just like to have fun with ham radio, so there's a thing with that. So I'm Jason, KC5HWB. Thanks for watching today. Ward Silver did actually send me this Ham Radio for Dummies book. He is the author of the Ham Radio for Dummies book. This is the fourth edition that was just released, and he emails me and he says, hey, would you like to do a video about this book? And I said, well, okay, what do you want me to say about it? And he gave me some talking points, and I'm like, yes, that's that's a great idea. Ward Silver, H. Ward Silver, he is, uh, this is the fourth edition right here. There's a thing on the back here. Ham it up with this handy how-to guide. Welcome to the Ham Club. This is for a brand new ham radio operator, obviously. Uh, Ward Silver has been uh, a ham since 1972 when he earned his novice license. He's the lead editor of the AWRL Radio Handbook and the AWRL Antenna Book. He is the author of the AWRL License Manuals and several other books on ham radio topics. Go to dummies.com for this and that kind of thing. So this is chocked full of really good information for the new ham radio operator. So I asked him, when I asked him, I've traded emails with him about the book, and he, he sent me this, this, uh, this free copy of it, of course, uh, but... He said, this book, this book is not a study guide, okay? This is a book to answer questions about ham radio to help with the now what scenario. Now, a while back on my channel, I did a now what video. I said, okay, so you've got your ham radio license, now what? I'll put a link to that right up here. This book is an even more intense version of the now what. The, so the now what, I gave you like seven points that you should go do further research on this th while this was not on the now what video that i did this it, ne it needs to be if i ever do an updated now what i'll add this to it so they they do a lot of stuff in they talk about a lot of stuff in this book oh look there's a a, a page about tapper even that's kind of cool page about tapper right there is the yl radio league so handy hams am sat Iota, Soda, and Poda. There you go. Talking part in specialty groups. Taking part in specialty groups. Iota, Soda, and Poda. Youth on the air. Competitive clubs. All kinds of good stuff. So the talking points that Ward asked me to speak through. This here's your here's here's a here's a contents. Okay, getting started, waiting through the licensing process, hamming it up, building and operating stations that work. The part of tens. I don't know what that means. Part of tens. There's a table of contents. Again, this is it, they talk about taking the exam in here, right here, types of exams. Tells you where to, um, yeah, remote exams, exams at events. Remote exams is a very new thing as of 2020, so you know that this book has been updated recently. So some of the talking points that he asked me to to touch on for this book are that every portion of the book has been updated to some degree since the third edition. So there's a good, so if you have the third edition and you're like, well, how many updates are there? Well, pretty much all of it to some degree has been updated since the third edition. It's got an all new how to tune and make contact session that includes SDR technology. So how to tune your radio and make contact for the best way of making contacts. Covers digital voice modes and systems like DMR in more detail. So those of you with questions about DMR, D-Star System Fusion, watch the videos on this channel for sure. Please watch my videos. There's a lot of other great YouTubers out there that talk about those systems as well. But if you want to read more about it, you know, too much knowledge is not, there's no such thing as too much knowledge. So watch the videos and get the book and read it. So both of them would be a good choice for you. The exam process has been updated to cover remote sessions. that We just, we just saw that a minute ago. Lots of tips to alert the reader about topics in the exam question pool. More about WSJTX and modes like FT8. So if you're going from technician to general, and you want to work some FT8, which is really fun. There's a there's a section in here about uh, digital modes, JT uh, FT8 through WSJTX, and maybe some of the other modes it does, like JT65 and J9 or something like that. 
Operating practices updated to popular techniques and specialties like IOTA and SOTA and POTA, and lots of technical guidance about radios, antennas, and tools. Again, he reiterates, this is not a study guide. This is what you might want to read and reference back to after you get your license, after you're on the air, because you're like, okay, I got my license, I got my call sign, what do I do now? A lot of it is answered in this book. So Ham Radio for Dummies, and don't worry about the dummies title. That's just something they, that's just something they do. Ham Radio Beginner's Guide. Think of it as a beginner's guide to ham radio with some really great information. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick up this book. Let me know if you have it. Let me know if you have an earlier edition, what you think about it. Put a, put a comment in the YouTube video below, 73. <laughs> ham Radio 2.0, where we do re reviews. <laughs> Ward Silver. What is he, N0AX? <laughs>